Man, take a business class. I swear to God, if you get enough, if I started late, you mean like I came to Hollywood at 28, turning 29, and man, learn money. Because if you start making some of it, you're going to lose a lot of it if you don't know what you're doing. And I have lost tons of money not knowing what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> tons, tons, lots of zeros worth of it. Like it's, oh man. Where did you, where did you draw that line of, I need to take care of this better. How, what opened your uh, eyes? Uh, my first two shows, Whitney and Bad Judge. The, I was so grateful for the opportunity that I did not, I didn't, you know, you just excited, you know, you just, I'm about to be on TV and like I got cast and, um, and Whitney, I was making no money, money for me, but like not money in Hollywood. And then Bad Judge, like I stepped up a little bit, probably like doubled my rate, my quote, and felt good about it. And it was like, okay, I'm just gonna live like I still am sleeping on an air mattress still. And I'm gonna save up, pay off all my debt. And then, then I'll figure out what to do with it. And then I got this MTV job, I think right, I actually think that was right before Bad Judge, but I got a, I got a, Frank, oh, this yeah. was, Jerks with Cameras was, was right in between Whitney and, and Bad Judge. I hosted that on MTV. And I guess I hit a, well, not I guess, I know this is what happened now. I hit a different tax bracket unknowingly because, you know, comedy money comes in short spurts and then, you know, TV money, I'm not used to this and I had some commercials running. So I had a, I earned more for the year than I actually thought I did. It put me in a different tax bracket and when I got this MTV check. It was, uh, I'll just say it. I mean, it was $150,000, right? I got 150000 and one check most money I've ever seen in my life. And then I got to pay commission and tax on it. And the, t the money that I got from it was like $19,000, almost $20,000 from $150,000. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you're paying like 48% in, in tax and then you got to pay 25% to commission. So dude, I got railed. So how can you protect yourself from that? I mean, you, you got to start watching the different tax brackets. You have to, you have to, you have to keep up with what you made quarterly and, and uh, you know, whether you're going to be an LLC S corp, you have to, uh, if you are going to start an IRA, if you are going to have a SEP IRA, if you're going to have money market accounts, if you, like, where's your money going to be? If you're going to invest in real estate, like all those, because a lot of stuff you can use as money untaxed if you put it in the right place, but saving will never do anything for you. You know what I mean? So if you take that check for thirty thousand dollars, if you you get that one check, you like, holy shit, I got thirty thousand dollars. No, look at that shit like it's fifteen. Yeah. Put fifteen away untaxed, pay some bills off. You're gonna pay taxes on this anyway. On this fifteen, like you gotta figure out how to make your money work for you, and then live a lifestyle that's conducive to uh, making sure you're happy and you know you you don't want for much. But hey, man, this is your first job. Do not buy that car yet. 